Hi, glad you are here. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the three best tablets that are already available for less than $400. Even though cell phones are catching up in terms of size, tablets remain the most comfortable solution for surfing on the couch or taking notes on the go. To help find the best tablet for you, we have evaluated tests and added them up to an overall rating. But before I go into too much detail, let's get started. If you already liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Thanks a lot. In third place, we have the Apple iPad 9th Generation 2021, approximately $380. Computer Build rated it with 2.1. Stiff Tongue Varen Test rated it with 2.0. And Customers rated it with 1.8. It is a hit at school, university, or on the sofa. Its strengths? Sharp display with pleasant true tone display. Sufficiently powerful A13 Bionic chip. Practical ultra wide angle front camera. Good price performance ratio. And its weaknesses? Memory not expandable. Apple has renewed its standard iPad in 2021 as well and delivers a rudimentary but quite practical revision. The Apple iPad 2021 is still considered to be entry-level, but it partially outperforms the considerably more expensive competition Android tablets in terms of performance. The tablet supports the Apple Pencil, as we are used to from the new models, the new and improved front-facing camera, which now has an ultra-wide angle lens that can track people from moving in front of the camera to some extent, thanks to the feature called Follow Mode, this is ideal for video conferencing or online lessons at home. The display is sharp and also masters the automatic white point adjustment called True Tone. The installed chipset has been upgraded by one year with the A13. Otherwise, everything remains the same and the device looks a bit outdated, especially in terms of looks. However, the relatively low entry price of just over 300 US dollars quickly puts this into perspective, because in the end, you hold a very powerful and reliable everyday tablet in your hands that should feel most comfortable at university, school, or on the couch. And in second place, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S Lite, approximately $334, PC Magazine rated it with 1.2, Stiff Tongue Varen Test rated it with 2.0, and Customers rated it with 1.7. Comes as a light model with a few critical compromises and better runtime. Strengths? Sharp display, good memory configuration, expandable, good battery life, and a decent price performance ratio. And the weaknesses? Weak camera and noticeable weight. Compared to the Samsung's Galaxy Tab S6, the new light model is similarly equipped, but has clear shortcomings compared to its stronger sister model. The display has slightly thicker edges and does not resolve as sharply, but still remains absolutely sufficient in its image sharpness. In terms of storage, the Tab S6 Lite is sufficient. 64 gigabytes is enough for a decent media collection, especially since you can additionally expand storage via memory card. Thanks to 4 gigabytes of working memory, complex multitasking is still a manageable task for the light model. The camera has a lower resolution, but should still be able to take presentable pictures with 8 megapixels. Photography is not a tablet's focus anyway. In addition, the tablet has turned out to be marginally heavier. 465 grams are clearly noticeable, especially when you like to read it in one hand. It is nice that Samsung leaves the battery unchanged. Due to the weaker hardware, this should ensure a longer battery life than the Tab S6, because this was one of the few points of criticism of the more expensive Tab S6. By the way, you can find all the tested products in the video description for more information. And in first place, the Xiaomi Pad 5, approximately $399, Computer Build rated it with 2.0, Connect rated it with 1.5, and Customers rated it with 
attractive iPad homage. Its strengths, attractive 120 Hertz display, good battery life, audio system with four speakers, and a high quality aluminum case. Weaknesses, no headphone jack, and stiff speaker rocker. After a break of about five years, the electronics giant Xiaomi is back in the tablet market. The Xiaomi Pad 2, which still had a choice of Windows or Android, already looked very similar to the flagship tablet iPad in 2016. And the new version is also clearly visually based on the market leader. The high quality aluminum unibody makes a stable impression and the front looks modern with its extra narrow display bezel. If there's anything to complain about on the exterior, it would be the somewhat stiff volume button and the camera module that pretends to have a dual camera, but it only has one. The latter at least shoots nice pictures by tablet standards. The 8 megapixel front facing camera is also good for video calls and self portraits. The Xiaomi Pad 5's display is much more important than the camera's. It has a sharp WQHD resolution and displays content smoothly with a refresh rate of 120 Hz. The speaker system with four sound sources also provides entertainment fun, thanks to which you can enjoy stereo sound even in an upright position. The innards are led by not such a new but energy efficient Snapdragon processor, which provides a solid performance level but does not come close to the obvious role model iPad. Meanwhile, the large battery promises a good runtime, but this still needs to be examined more closely in tests. All in all, you get a lot here for $399 US dollars MSRP. As you can see, there are already really great tablets for relatively little money. I hope I could help you a bit with your purchase decision. If so, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell that would really help us and the channel. And maybe you can tell us in the comments which tablet you like best and which one you might have already decided on. Thank you for watching and see you very soon. See you next time.